This is Coogan Cassius. We're at David Hay versus Tyson Fury, the press conference ahead of their fight on September 28th at Manchester Arena. With me, I don't really know what you're doing here, Eddie Earn. <laughs> Why are you doing it? Just a fan. He's just a fan, he's just coming. No, I'm, I'm, I'm quiet on this one. I'm, uh, well, I'm co promoter with David, but I'm not promoting the show, so I'm just working with Haymaker. Probably work on their side of the undercard and uh, just here to watch a, a great press conference. I thought it was hilarious. I thought Tyson Fury was, it's the first time I've actually ever seen him or met him. I thought he was very, very entertaining. Didn't you? He's always entertaining. Um, regards to the negotiations in this fight, what did you have any input whatsoever in any of the the purses for the fighters or the no, deal? No, what about I, the deal with Sky? Yeah, that, I've, I've obviously had input on the deal with Sky. I mean, in terms of we've got a good relationship with them. We work together on scheduling, and you know, I was involved with Adam in bits and pieces of the deal. Um, but the, the fight negotiations. Nothing to do with me. Adam dealt with Mick Hennessy and Peter Fury, and I'm really pleased they got it done because I think there were times where it was a bit up in the air, and Adam was keeping me informed most of the way. But I'm glad they got there. Um, obviously, it's going to be pay per view. We're assuming it's going to be 14.99, uh, same as Fox Kessler. Um, have you got to deliver an undercard that's fitting for pay per view, and who have you got in mind? Well, you know, um, the undercard, as I understand it, will be split between Hennessy and Haymaker, so. Um, I guess they'll put their ideas together. Haymaker will use us on that side of the undercard, and um, it will be put to Sky, and you know uh, they'll, they'll make their decisions. You like to chuck a matchroom fighter in there or not? Yeah, no, that's that's what I'm saying. We'll work with Haymaker with our fighters on for their side of the undercard. Um, so you know, hoping to get a few of the lads on. I think it'd be a good night. Can you give us an inkling about a specific fight that you're looking at, or um, possibly, or not? not? Not really, because I, you know, I'm not effectively making the decisions. But obviously, I'll be putting fights forward to to Adam and the Haymaker team. And you know, I mean, Scott Quigg is probably ready to go again. Um, you've got Anthony Crawler in Manchester. You've got a few of our younger boys, a couple of the Scouse guys. So, you know, I think um, Quigg, Quigg against Salinas would be interesting on the world title front. I think that might warrant its own card, but. You know, obviously, Quig being from Manchester, he's ready to go. So, you know, I'll be working and, and trying to put forward some suggestions for the undercard. Do you expect this fight to reach possibly our best ever pay per view figures? I think so. I think it's going to grow and grow and grow. It's, I mean, you know, you saw Tyson Fury there. He was, he was the show here. Do you know what I mean? I mean, David was very relaxed and very calm. And, um, you know, I think Tyson's going to, going to be a big part of this, this build up. I think. I think the bottom line is, is although he says some silly things sometimes, he's actually a, a good bloke and, and a nice bloke, and I think he has genuinely got a good heart. So I think that will come across, and I think he might end up being, he might convert a few fans here, and I think he might be the popular one by the time this fight starts. Do you know what I mean? Because I just think, actually, if you get to know him, and I don't even really know him, but I don't know if you've got that feeling today, that actually he seems like quite a nice bloke. A bit of a half, a lunatic, for a while. Yeah, yeah. half a lunatic. Don't get me wrong. Did you see one interview with him where something he says is a bit off key? Then that's your opinion about yeah. him. But we've done a few bits with him to know that yeah. you know there's more to it than that. Yeah, it's up and down, isn't it? I mean, one one day he's abusing me on uh, Twitter, and the next day he's saying great show, fast car. So you don't really know what you're getting. So, um, but this is going to be a big fight. I mean, even you know, you look at the tweets, you look at um, you know people already. I, I presume it's sold out. I mean, I don't know, but I presume it's sold out already. You know, uh, it is a big fight. A lot of casuals want to get involved. You know it's a big fight when your mates are texting you, never go to boxing, saying, how do I get tickets for, for Hay against Fury? So it's going to be a big show, and um, I'm looking forward to the fight. A lot of people in boxing who I respect tipping Fury to win this. You know, um, for me, I, I believe I believe Hay should win. I think he's a favourite to win. Well, he's, he is. I've seen the odds, but he's a big old boy, isn't he? Tyson, and he's got plenty of heart, plenty of arsehole. So, and he's f he's very, very funny. He's massive and all. Look at him over there. Just like towers above everyone. But looking forward to it. Looking forward to Hull this weekend. Definitely. We'll be up in the car tomorrow, won't we? Indeed. We'll have a proper catch-up about your stuff. Um, this is your stuff, sort of, but not really, is it? Bit of a spare pie here today, Eddie. Um, <laughs> I've got my fingers in the pie, but I'm not eating. The biggest fight in heavyweight boxing today, bar none, including the Calitro fight. Yeah, I think in this country, do you understand? I mean, it's right up there. I mean, you, you have got the argument that Hay against Klitschko in Germany, like, for instance, Hay Klitschko in Germany is much bigger than Hay Fury in Germany. 
that makes sense, and in the Eastern Bloc and perhaps in America as well. But um, I think you're going to see the fight grow and grow and grow because every you know he is a great talker. He's a he's a great self promoter. Actually, two great self promoters in Hay and Fury. All right, Eddie Young. Uh, there's other people we need to talk to. More important than more, well, today, more important oh, than right, you. Okay. So, but we thought you know because you're one of our uh, favourites. Favourites, I was going to say. Regulars, favourites, you know. Um, thank you for talking Cheers, to us. Mate. What Cheers time on. have I got to be at yours tomorrow? Eight o'clock, top of the road. Top of your road, by him, the church. I don't let him down my path. Cause Gated. No, but if, the, if anyone saw you, they'd just call the old Bill, wouldn't they? They did once. Did they? With, With your, your rucksack and your jeans around, like, around, your, around your Gary, just like waddling down the road. Like. This is Coogan Cassius with the spare part today. That is Eddie Earn. <laughs> Never seems so quiet. Thank you very much.